Hello everyone, Shinto Bean here playing some more Warhammer Combat Cards Campaign Mode. In this match we're going to be playing as my favorite faction, the Tyranids, against the Orcs. For the modifiers we have the Aura of Rage increasing the melee attack of all deployed units at the start of each turn. And then we got 200 deck points available. Something I just noticed uh, in this campaign, it might have been applied a little bit earlier, but uh, if you look at the leaderboard, you can no longer see how many players are participating in the campaign. I used to have like the exact number uh, for each tier. Now it's just a percentage. Uh, so yeah, we, we don't know how many people there are. It only goes up to the top 50, as you can see. Uh, we're at level 20 in the campaign. The mission rewards for this are one of the more useless cards in the Tyranid roster, the Ripper Swarm. Looks cool, but uh, unfortunately don't really have a, a use for it in any of my decks currently. But I'm going to be running some of the newer models, going with the rule of cool here. So everything in this deck will be getting a boost to their melee at the end of each turn, as well as the beginning of each turn. Uh, it would be even crazier if I ran some Berserkers and, and stuff. Death Blow is also very good here, uh, but I'm using some of the weaker cards just to see how it goes. Now some of these are brand new models, so we've got the Neurogaunt with Taunt, we've got the Neurolictor with Fear. Uh, this one does get quite a bit better as it levels up, it's still... At a, only at level 3 at the moment, so not the greatest. Uh, we got the snazzy new Death Leaper, as well as uh, the Gene Stealer with Furious Charge. We got Von Ryan's Leaper with Scout. Uh, this is just the regular Lictor with Target Acquired. The Toxicrine with Death Blow, and the Winged Tyranid Prime with Scout and Target Acquired. So, lots of ways to boost the melee, and uh, unfortunately, nothing in this deck is really very tanky. I think I'm getting pretty close to reaching the, the limit with this particular build. It's not very strong. Uh, we'll see how it goes, though. Uh, in the previous campaign, I was actually able to make it through the entire campaign without losing a single match. Uh, but this one, if I, if I run this build, I think I'm probably going to be losing at, well, maybe level 22 or 23. So I'm going to have to switch things up and bring in some stronger bodyguards. So we're up against Zodgrod Wartsnag. I've been seeing this guy quite a bit in this campaign. And they've got uh, Storm Boy. Okay, this actually combos with this special rule. They're deploying it on turn one. I'm going to go ahead and drop the Toxicrine here first and try to get a bunch of buffs on it so that when the Death Blow goes off, it'll blow up and deal a lot of damage. He's actually, okay, running a lot of cards that synergize with the special rule. Uh, most of the matches I've played against Zodgrod, he wasn't running hardly anything under 10 points, but now all three of the starting cards are under 10 points. Uh, this could be a little scary. So they get a melee scout in at the very beginning. We've got uh, the Furious Charge, uh, which isn't enough to kill anything. Plus five to all the melee stats. They're going ranged, and Makari doesn't have an attack type, so he's just debuffing ranged. But uh, I think nothing, yeah, maybe nothing in this deck actually has ranged attack, so don't mind that. Uh, okay, we will be able to knock out two of their bodyguards and deal some good damage to Makari with this uh, first turn. And as you can see, the, uh, the special rule is going off for him, buffing all of the attack stats of everything in uh, the Orc deck by 15% each time. So they're already up to 30% boost to the stats. And uh, they're bringing even more. So actually, they've got uh, already the maximum number of cards, uh, which five bodyguards that can buff uh, the, the stats of everything. So now they're still going with weak um, ranged attacks at the moment, so... Uh, we're not taking much damage yet, but uh, I think once they start to go melee, uh, things could get pretty painful. Now, they do have a uh, taunt on the field. I think we'll be able to knock it out with the Toxicrine here. Doing quite a bit of damage already. And, of course, Gosar is uh, also increasing the melee of everything in my deck, so things that I deploy later will start off with a, the higher attack value. Uh, let's, I think, drop... Well, let's see, we could drop Death Leaper who would take out uh, this this guy. I guess that would give him another buff, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll make good use of this Furious Charge, I think. And so take out that Beast Snaga Boy. And there goes the special rule. Once again, uh, this guy, whoa, the Whir Boy, able to deal 88 Psychic Damage. Uh, that is quite a bit, 97 with the, the boost there. Uh, but they still... Uh, the Lictor is still alive. Thing's been getting a lot of... Uh, attack boost, so let's see, this thing's already dealing 108 damage. So close! So close to taking out the Warboy, but um, it does survive and it will be able to take down that Lictor with the counterattack. 
Uh, but yeah, the the Toxicreen is looking really strong right now. Uh, when that thing dies, and it's barely... It actually, hasn't even taken any damage. That's right, because it was across from Makari, so... I guess, yeah, the longer something stays out on the field with uh, this modifier, of course, the bigger it will get. So, ideally, you do want uh, something, you know, more tough bodyguards and, and ways of healing them, if possible. Uh, so that you can make the best use of the Aura of Rage. Uh, they've got a really big boy there. Uh, let's see, this is the, the Stompa. 157 ranged attack, and then shields. Orcs actually have a surprising number of shields, so... Uh, those can be pretty difficult to deal with, especially if you're going only melee, so... Um, yeah. Another reason why I wouldn't really recommend this uh, build. If you have Death Blow, it can sort of uh, deal with shields, um, but... Do we want to try to take something down here? Um, we can see how much damage we can do uh, with the Winged Tyranid Prime. Really love this guy. Uh, he is very much a glass cannon, though, but he yeah, boosted the melee attack by 44%. That's putting us up to 512 total uh, melee attack. The Toxicrine is going to be dishing out some serious pain to that Stompa, and the Winged Tyranid Prime uh, finishes it off. The Warboy does survive. Uh, we'll see... What attack type they go for with uh, Zodgrad deploying here? I'm guessing they will go Psychic. I'm hoping they go Psychic so they can knock out the Toxic Queen. Uh, this guy's also been getting boosted by uh, Berserk, but actually they're going for the melee attack. So 170 from that Warboy. Here goes the the uh, Death Blow, dealing 60-some damage to the Warlord. They actually managed to knock everything out. Uh, so yeah, we can deploy our Warlord and last two Bodyguards. I do wish I could have gotten the Neurolifter out earlier. That is a pretty fun card, even as low a level as it is. It's got Fear. It reduces the attack by 35%, which is actually pretty significant. That Snazwagon is really strong. I just realized, uh, being boosted by the Inspiring Presence and, of course, 75% boost from being proper angry. I actually totally forgot about that. Uh, I guess that's why that, that Stompa was uh, dealing so much damage. Good thing we were able to take it out quickly, though. Von Ryan's Leaper here, boosting the melee attack up to 41%, and we can take this guy down. Wow, that is a lot more damage than I was expecting, but yeah, again, the boost from Gosar's special rule been charging these guys up the, the entire match, so. A win for the Tyranids, and we got to make use of nearly all of the, the bodyguards. At least we, we were able to deploy our entire deck in that match. Uh, again, though, uh, starting to get a little risky. Gosar himself doesn't have much health, so uh, you don't really want him on the field, ideally. Um, so, yeah, going to have to change things up a little bit uh, going forward, but that is it for this one. Hope you are enjoying this campaign. The next one we have, we are playing as Necrons against Chaos, and that will be a max level 400 point apocalypse, so should be pretty interesting. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.